So now, let's take a look at how we can work with oil paint inside of Adobe Fresco. So oil pa paint is a type of live brush paint right here. So you can access it from the live brushes section and here you can see oil. So just like um, our brushes simulate water, it also simulates the oil color. So let me just go around and choose one of the colors right here. Let's say I'm just going to choose this one, oil paint round. So now uh, let's just choose a color from the color wheel and let's see what, how, what oil colors look like. So I can just click and drag it and you can see that this is an oil color. And if I were to click and drag it here, you can see that it mixes out. So that is how the oil color works out. So it is not very watery as the watercolor. It's more like an oil. So it is simulating oil right here. So let's take a look at values here. So I can go around and increase or decrease the value of the brush. You can see the brush strokes right here and I can increase or decrease the value right here. And I can also go over here and then mix out. So you can see that as uh, oils mix together, you can see that as oil paint, you can see this is how it mixes out. You go over here onto the side and that is what it seems. So you can mix these out. You can see that there's like uh, an orange color there, just like that. So uh, besides this, what you can also do is you can go around and change out the mixing level right over here. So this is the paint mix. It is 50% right now. If you were to do zero mixing, then what happens is that as I paint around, you can see that no mixing actually happens at all, just like this. Let me just change the color now onto something like blue. And then let me just increase out the mixing level to uh, around 100, just like this. And I'm going to go over here, decrease the brush size, and let's see what happens. So I paint here, nothing happens. But once I go here, you can see that the mixing is really uh, seen just like this. So it's a 100% mixing level. And you can see that a greenish tint actually appears right over here as if I'm mixing out the colors just like that. And I can go over here, draw out mix. So you can see that just like oil, it kind of mixes out just like that. So there's the mixing properties going along just like that, as you can see. So that is what you have. Besides that, you have other options as well. So this is oil paint brown. You can change the angle of the brass right over here and you can see that change and you can see the canvas texture as well so if i were to really zoom this in just like that so if i were to really zoom this in you can see kind of like a canvas texture right over here so you can see like uh the paper texture coming out here so if you don't want to see that then you can turn that off as well so you see here there's like a paper texture over here but if i were to go over here from canvas to none then what happens is that i don't see that texture anymore it's just plain oil color as you can see so you can see a subtle difference right there just like that there's no uh paint of the canvas right here so but usually to keep it natural we turn on the canvas texture there's also Presser Dynamics and you can reload uh, things right here. As you can, you can reload color. There's Presser Dynamics. You can change the size, the flow of the Presser Dynamics. And you can also increase and decrease the size right here and increase the flow just like this. And this is how it works out. So it is, it works like natural brush as you can see. So it is jagged over here. So it is not very, very straight. So if you want such an effect, you can see that this is how it works out. So the thing with the oil color is it can mix around with any color just like this. So over here, I can go back into watercolor, let's say, for example, and draw out and it mixes out with the oil color just like that. So I can go back on to all. I can go back on to oil color again and use the oil paint. So I'm just going to change around to different brush. Let me choose a different color and then mix it out and you can see that watercolor and oil paint it just mixes out it also mixes out with other brushes just like this and this is how you can make a natural looking oil paint just like this right in your computer screen just like this so that is how you can work with the oil paint brush that the light paint brush inside of adobe fresco so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe